looked at a correlation between that and you know how much television time they had, how much time they had sitting in front of a, of a screen of some sort. And the kids that had more than two hours in front of a screen and didn't do a lot of after school sports or at least an hour of exercise a day um, showed more of this, these symptoms. So. You know, we've got to get kids, we've got to do it. I mean, at one, what point do we say this is enough? So tell me, Sarah, how do you keep your family healthy and active? Because that's talking about the perfect mother, right? That never puts their kid in front of the TV because it's the easy way thing to do, which I do all the time. I mean, sometimes you've got to get something done, the phone rings or something, and you know, you put on Nick Jr. And it is hard because we're busy, but you know, I think it's just having a balance. Look, everything is about moderation, I think. But I think if we're just conscious that, that we've got to get our kids out and about, that there are more things demanding their time that means sitting on a couch these days than when we were kids. Um, and I think just being conscious of that really as a parent is all you can do. Do you notice a difference in your kids when they've been inactive? Their mood is just, they're just different, you know, and whereas if you've gone outside and even if they've collapsed on the couch after that, it's sort of, they're sort of happy, you know, so absolutely. I mean, and we live, we live in such an amazing place. I mean, we have the most incredible climate, the weather is great. There are lots of parks, there are lots of things that we can do. So I think we're really lucky. Um, so we, you know, we can get the kids out when we can. How important is it to stay active and set a good example for your kids? Very, yes. And I think it's really good when, um, when kids can see you being a part of, you know, whatever your exercise plan is or whatever you do to get it, to keep active. The same thing is with, with health, you know, looking after yourself, eating good foods and, you know, I'm not perfect. <laughs> I just think about the McDonald's I had not long ago <laughs> with the kids. No, that's not a good example. But you know, <laughs> yeah. you've got to you've got to try. And I mean, you know, I find with me, I I want to do things for them more than for me. So you know, my social life pretty much rolls around what makes them happy and what would be fun for them. I love a theme park. Yes. I love rides. <laughs> so I don't mind doing all the kids' things anyway. I know you've got something of an age difference between your children. Is it hard finding activities that appeal to all of them? Yeah, I used to think when I had the two boys that were 18 months apart, I thought oh, it was great because they both wanted to be at the playground. But, um, you know, if I've got my little one with the two boys, I would, they'll, they'll be bored at a playground. So it is hard to find things that, that, you know, all three of them will want to do. You know what, as you find, your whole weekend is spent ferrying them around to all the different things that they want to do. So, you know, they're pretty busy.